Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is the part three of my series of Learn Arabic in an Easy Way, Ta'alam Arabia, Litorikatin Suhlatin. In this one, we will take a look at the meanings of the letter seen when it's in the third position. Now, I have told you that uh, the letter seen has a meaning uh, related to going somewhere or to move on. And you'll notice that the letter seen uh, is written like flowing water, you know, flowing water symbology in writing of the letter seen like this. And then it is also pronounced with a uh, hissing sound such as, you know, this kind of sound, right? So it makes sense, perfect sense that one of the basic meaning of the letter seen is something moving. And uh, you'll see, notice this, this Arabic word, Sara, which means he moved on. Uh, represents a natural movement and so uh, to understand this meaning we can uh, take a look at this you know seen yara from this root you see the scene is represented here as waves of water and then these two uh, dots represents the uh, starting and the ending point of a ra like uh, uh, number or a distance right and and this is because when you um, move on the planet earth uh, you, your your uh, going become like a carved path, right? And uh, so Sara would means uh, would mean to go a certain distance, right? Which is uh, a little bit far away. And I'm providing the uh, six forms uh, or three of the verbs uh, that is the Mazi, Mudari, and Amr that you need to learn the Sara, Yasir, and Sid, and uh, three kinds of Ism or noun that you need to learn. Uh, which is the masdar, the file, and maf'ul. You already know this uh, if you are a student in Arabic and if you followed my earlier videos. If not, please uh, take a look at my earlier videos, okay? So for all the verbs that I discuss here, I will be presenting with these six forms. Okay, now uh, let's take a look what happens when seen is the first letter, uh, first root letter. For example, say sakata, uh, this means to fall, right? To fall, something falling down. And so here uh, I have told you before that this can this Arabic letters has each one as a meaning and here you can see that uh, uh, you can represent this as a kind of abbreviation right this letters for instance uh, here you can read like Sara min kimmatin uh, kof is for kimma or the top uh, and then toa is for hatta or coming straight down coming straight down so Sara min kimmatin hatta and you can draw a picture uh, of this movement, of the uh, scene-like movement, where uh, uh, something is falling uh, from uh, high above and coming straight down uh, on, say, uh, the surface of the earth. So, sakata means to fall. Then, masaka, wh where the scene is the second uh, root letter, means to hold. So, when the scene is the first root letter, it would mean movement in the forward direction. And when it's the last root, root letter, it would mean movement in the backward direction. But when it's the middle root letter, then it would mean movement is restricted or hold, on hold. So masaka means to hold. And uh, uh, we can uh, understand this as meme as maful, the, you know, the maful, the object shape you can see here for meme. And scene is for sa sara, we know. Maful, masara, masara, did not go, hunaka. Kaf has a meaning of there. You know, something like that. You, you notice huna means here. So if you add ka, it becomes hunaka or there. So so there can only be expressed easily, you know, easily by only the letter ka. So masaka, it means maful masara hunaka. That is the object was hold and it did not go uh, to a distance. Now, if the scene is the last letter, so still it would mean sara is going somewhere, but it, it would mean something going in opposite direction or in very strange way of going. So see, akasa means to reverse or to reflect. Huh? So akasa, we can understand ada min hunaka from there, sara. So ada, and, and then it went to some place, then it came back, huh? sara moved. So this means it is reversing or going uh, backwards. So see, this, uh, this primary meaning when seen uh, is the last letter uh, is changed by these uh, two words. You know, primary meaning of Sara is changed by the Ain and Kaf. As you know, the Ain 
uh, you can see the ion has a, like a reverse shape or return shape, right? This shape. So this one. So see the the ion like return, and then the calf uh, can always be represented by 90 degree angles. And uh, of course, the Sara in this case is in this direction or the opposite direction uh, where uh, the movement was intended to be, right? So movement in backward direction uh, is by Akasa. Ada minhunaka Sara. Now, this scene can have other meaning other than this opposite kind of movement. Huh? For instance, say, uh, harasa, uh, harasa, haris means a guard and harasa means to guard. Uh, here we can we can see the ha is for hudud and ra'a sara. So somebody haris is or a guard is somebody who uh, sees the border and, and moves. Huh? And but this movement is on and like a, around the border, so it's like a kind of restricted movement. That's why the scene is in the third position and, and repeatedly uh, the guard moves around there. And you see the ha uh, represents hudud, right? You can easily understand, you know, hudud is um, you know, the, the ha or the uh, border, uh, dualun, uh, wa dualuna, between two uh, countries, uh, there is this ha. And let's see, it is written as two opposite things, huh, where two opposite things mean, meet, which is a border. So, hudud ra'a sara means uh, uh, harasa or to guard. Habasa means to hold back. So, here you see the ha uh, represents hadda, to restrict. Huh? Hadda. Baba ala sairin li saitara means uh, uh, you restrict a door, a door, uh, and against uh, movement uh, for control. You want to control, uh? and this thing, of course, you learn all these six forms: the three forms uh, for the verb and three forms for the noun. Now, in addition to that, if you learn uh, ismul ala, uh, which is the noun of tool, uh, which, as you know, in Arabic is written with the uh, additional meme with a kasra. So, uh, habasa means to hold back and mihbas means a bar. Eh? And the ismul makan uh, is meme with a fatha. Eh? So, mahbas means a prison cell, a place for holding. And me means a tool, eh? a tool for holding back, which is a valve. Eh? So, make perfect sense. And, and see, you can easily draw a picture of a valve uh, where ba is like a door and uh, something is moving inside, say a water or something, and then you put a ha-like uh, valve in there for control, right? We, we can open uh, like this with this me tool, you can open and close the valve, and so you can restrict the uh, flow to hold back. Now, in line with this, ehtabasa means uh, to retain, and, and this is the type 8 form of the par, and ehtabasa uh, uh, means to retain. And here the type 8 means uh, to retain there is a reason. The alif with kasra means a reason. And ta means uh, a, something based on a past uh, activity, ehtabasa, right? Or something which uh, happens uh, automatically. So say, uh, we can say ehtabasal bauli. Ehtabasal bauli means retention of urine, right? To retain and retention of urine. And here you can see hubisa, you know, habasa means to hold back, eh? hubisa biduni saitara, without control, balbal. Huh? The uh, urine uh, was hold back without control, which is what the retention of urine is. So you can easily understand, even in medical terminology, very easy uh, to explain in terms of the single letter meanings. And in, con in contrast to this, incontinence of urine would mean uh, salusal bauli, huh? salusa si, sala la saitara means it flowed, uh, no control. That is without control, albauna. So easily you can understand. See, here there are two scenes. Huh? Two scenes. One is going uh, forward. That, that is the normal uh, flow of urine is uh, intended. And then the, the other scene is intended that la, you know, the lam is there, la saitara. Without a control, urine is flowing. Huh? So easy uh, to understand even medical terminology with the help of single letter meaning of the other. Now, so see, if it is in the last position, uh, this letter seen, then because it would mean uh, something like reversing or going back. So see, something like sensing where things come towards you rather than you going moving forward or something forward uh, is expressed, say, for example, to sense hassa. And uh, you can understand this hafaza watasallama. Means hafaza means uh, it is stimulated. Something in the environment is stimulated and you received uh, the sense. 
So sense, this is the scientific definition of sense, uh, Hassan. You can easily understand in terms of the single letter meaning that something stimulus came and then you receive or you perceive that stimulus, right? Okay, massa means to touch. So see the same meme we know uh, is a representation of a, this is the object shape, means maf'ul, maf'ul hassa. So easy, yeah? maf'ul hassa means uh, he sensed an object, right? But uh, you see, this sense of object uh, primarily means non-physical. Uh, for instance, if shaitan touches somebody, which is uh, mentioned in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, near the end of the Surah Al-Baqarah, that uh, when shaitan some, that touches somebody, that word is used as masa, not as lamasa. Um, because lamasa would mean to touch physically, yeah? physically, physically touch. This, this lam uh, is for lasika, maf'ul hassa. Uh, means uh, he sensed an object, uh, he touches. Huh? Hasa, we know, uh, you know, lasika means uh, to touch or to cling to something. So lamasa means a physical touch, whereas masa means uh, to touch physical or non-physical. Huh? So very easy to understand from this single letter meaning of the letter seen. Okay, lastly, uh, I'd like to say that uh, this is the way I think Arabic should be learned and uh, I've told you this is why I think Arabic is the defined language that every letter is meaning and the meaning can be read as an abbreviation. For example, Samia means he heard, right? And here you can see, you can easily see the scene like uh, the uh, sound waves uh, that is Sara, it moved, Min Maf'ul, Maf'ul, mean, mean is, because of the mean, the me is uh, shown here with a kasra. Huh? And ayn is for wa or he became aware. To become aware, the ayn, the wa and the uh, alif maksura is weak letters, right? So they can be ignored. And the main meaning is wa is the ayn. So, and, and then notice how the ayn look like the ear. So you can draw a picture like this where you see the object shape, object shape. And the sound wave is coming, you know, mean maf'ul, sara, wa. So how nicely you can understand by using pictures like this. It's wonderful, actually, if you think like this. So I leave it to you. See, you should be able to now easily uh, read this using the single letter meanings for sara, sakata, right? Uh, sara, min kinmatin, hatta, masaka, uh, is to hold, right? And masaka means masara uh, hunaka, maful. And akasa means ada, min hunaka sara. And harasa to guard, you know, hududra asara. And habasa means to uh, uh, restrict or to uh, uh, retain, which is actually ikhtabasa, right? And to hold back, habasa, right? And uh, yeah. Uh, so this you should be able to easily uh, figure out by yourself. Then ihtamasa means vowel means the uh, retention of urine, right? And and hobisa, al, uh, you know, bowel. And then uh, salasu means to the uh, it is the incontinence or where the urine is not hold back at all. So uh, sala la saitara bowel. And hasa masa jasa jasa by the way jasa means. Uh, uh, just some means uh, he uh, uh, spied this one meaning. Another meaning is uh, to palpate something. So Jim Jim is for um, something Janna or something hidden, right? And also uh, you know Jaufun means inside, huh? inside, and and Sin is for Hassa. So inside, like like the doctor uh, palpate uh, the abdomen. To find out something wrong inside, right? So jaufun hassa would be jassa, and lamasa means uh, to uh, uh, touch, but physical touch, huh? and masa means physical or not physical touch. And samya means to hear, huh? sara min maful wa. So yeah, if you want to know more, uh, please uh, uh, take a look at my books, which are available from uh, Google Play. I provide the link here. Uh, and uh, if you want more information, please uh, watch my other uh, videos which are available uh, uh, from YouTube and I will provide some of the link uh, down below as well. And remember always uh, the reason the developed language drawing a picture object is that uh, all objects or, or things, uh, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created according to the shape of his divine letters. And if you watch this video carefully, I think you will agree with me. And so please, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, leave a like and make a comment and share. And inshallah, uh, I will see you in my next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz.